here is what we've got. Just received this package in. It's very well packed. I'm very surprised. Very happy. Every piece is individually wrapped. So, start taking this out, putting it on. So I just unpacked everything and set it out. Hardware. Really nice looking stuff. I mean, really nice looking. And I did notice on this, one thing I was actually a little surprised about. It's just a standard bearing. And for any of you who might need this, there's the number for it. So if that bearing ever goes out, looks like you can just pop out that ring, press the bearing out, replace it. I mean, looks like a lot of uh, off-the-shelf stuff. I did ask these guys about uh, these, these brake pads. They said just look on their website and look for rear brake pads. So I'm assuming that all of these, all of these kits have the same brakes. I don't know. And this has some weight to it. I mean, that just looks fantastic. I wasn't going to video this, but seeing as I'm having such a hard time with this, I figured maybe some of you might be having an issue. Back brake is stuck. Been stuck on for a while. I don't know if you can see all that brake dust in there. That's some. That's some. And I've watched other videos. This thing is supposed to just pop off. This is the actual brake drum. It is not. So I finally pried it far enough back because the drum actually fits inside of here. I pried it far enough back that I can get these pullers on it. And I'm about to pull it off without force. I'm sorry, without impact. So I'm going to see how this works. But By the way, I just have to say how much I love YouTube because I've never worked on a four-wheeler. Never had them as I was growing up. This is the first four-wheeler I've ever worked on. And I found a video on YouTube and it showed me most of everything I needed to pull this all apart. Except for this. So that's why I wasn't going to make one because somebody else did. Oh well. Okay, so that worked very easily. No fuss, no muss. More brake dust. And then the best part. Yeah. It's going to need new brakes. Okay, so the instructions say to remove everything and keep all stock components removed, which is awesome. That means this is a complete swap is exactly what I wanted because all of this is trashed 9 16 nut back here looks like there's four of them that's what the picture shows not too tight but this long handle on this gear wrench ratchet makes it much easier I love this gear wrench had a bad experience with Craftsman. Switched to Gear Inch many years ago. Haven't looked back since. figure out what it's going to take to put this back together. All right, so their instructions say to put the O-ring here, but they've got this this groove in their piece that looks like it'll work better because there's nothing to hold it there. So I'm just going to hold it. Come on. Okay, 
So the O-ring is in. Now the next part I have to do is put this cable holder. Super solid. The cable holder goes here. And long bolts here. Long bolt there. Okay. There we go. That goes there. That goes there. So one thing I don't like about this, they have all the text instructions here. And then you have to keep flipping pages. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Right. Cables through line bracket. Should have done that before. Because the last one was so hard to pull off, I'm gonna throw some NICs on here. Oh yeah, that slides on much nicer. Here we go. that one a little bit bent when I was pulling it off. Oops. Let's put that bend to back. So it says to loosely connect these. There we go. Loosely connected. Alright. I've got one of these on. So what they say is this bolts on with the M8 hardware and they give you a spacer and they tell you exactly where to put it which is great so the spacer goes in between the caliper bracket and the caliper itself the caliper mount there's a black steel bracket on the caliper and that's where it goes in between now they say not to tighten anything until the very end, or they specifically tell you to, which the only time they tell you to is the very end. So basically, don't tighten anything till the end. And I've got everything just ridiculously loose at this point. This was actually a very simple install. Alright. I'm going to tighten it all down and then I'll see how it goes. Make sure this goes on the right way. I just realized that mine was not on the right way. I had it going in. It's supposed to come out. Okay. Now it's on the right way. Now I'm going to reassemble all this. Okay. Now that this bracket is assembled correctly, that sounds much better before it sounded like it was really scraping so those are still loose haven't hit the brakes or anything i got to see how all this is supposed to work but that's pretty much it oh so right now i've got this hooked with a cable um this can actually go hydraulic there's the bleeder there's where the banjo goes so this will work hydraulic and we're going to try it to see how it is with a cable. And if we don't like it, we're taking it hydraulic. So, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps some of y'all. Make sure you put that bracket in right. Don't do what I did. Do what I did the second time, not the first.